Pakistan. In half an hour on BBC One, Starsky and Hutch have their hands full with a renegade Texan hell-bent on revenge for his wife's murder. And that follows the third in a series of programmes looking at the help available to people with sexual problems. The Trouble with Sex. I suppose it all began when I went off to Corfu with uh, my girlfriend Jackie. I suppose I, really basically I was taken in by all the, the sun and the sea and the atmosphere and everything and it was such a contrast to what had been happening at home and between Keith and I and, and uh, I met somebody whilst I was away. Slept, I slept with him basically. Only one night but uh, I think that was enough came back to Sheffield and then four weeks later I got these thrush symptoms uh, and I went to the doctor and he gave me some pessaries and the thing is that it didn't clear up <coughs> and uh, that was when he said I think you better go to the VB clinic in Sheffield. Good morning, can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Mrs Ibbotson. You've got an appointment, have you? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Right, this is your appointment card. We'll need it each time you come to clinic. If you'd like to just go around the corner and through the glass door and up the stairs to the waiting room. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I don't know what I really thought, or I thought, you know, monsters were going to be there, or people who looked different from me, or... I thought very promiscuous people, people who led very promiscuous lives, would went into, into VB clinics, but... Uh, I didn't think it could happen to me. That was the other thing, of course, as well. You know, I didn't think uh, people like me went into VD clinics. And then when I went into the waiting room, it was, you know, ordinary people sitting around, just as if they were waiting to go in to see any other doctor. We see a very wide range of people from all strata of society, from all different sorts of occupations, patients of different sorts of intelligence and personalities. No one is excluded. There are many people who will suffer from genital tract infections at some times in their lives where this infection has not necessarily been acquired outside their stable relationship. Sibbertson, please. Hello. Come on through. Most people, when they first attend the clinic, are very, very apprehensive. They're frightened, and they suffer from a serious loss of self-esteem. We try very hard uh, to overcome this fear, and... Uh, I'm quite sure that the majority of people are very much happier when they leave than when they first came in. You're Susan Ibbotson, is that right? Yes. My name's Dr. Talbot. I'm one of the consultant staff here. Your doctor is wondering whether we can help you because you've had a vaginal discharge, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. How long have you had it for? Um, it was probably about six weeks, I would say. Mm. And your doctor's given you some treatment for it, but it hasn't worked? No. No, not really. It's, uh, it's got worse, really. That's why I said it was a good idea if I came. Yes. About the discharge, does it cause you to itch? Mm, a little bit. I suppose it does, yeah. Yes. Uh, does it smell funny? Mm, it's horrible. Mm. What colour is it? Mm, sort of brownish colour. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Tell me a little bit about... The, the past now. Have you ever been in hospital or had any serious illnesses before? Yeah, I've had um, appendix out. How old were you then? Um, I was about 20 when I... Uh-huh. Have you 
you ever been to a GU clinic like this before? No. So your general health is normally good? Yes, it's all right. And therefore you probably don't take any tablets or medicines regularly. Can you give me a rough idea when you last had intercourse? I think um, that will be probably about three weeks ago. Um, well, in order to find out what's wrong, it's necessary for me to examine you and take some tests from you. This is very similar to having a smear test done. It takes about two minutes, and we can run some preliminary tests through this morning while you wait, and have an answer in about uh, half an hour's time. We can get back together then, we can discuss the results, and we can work out a plan of action. Uh, come on, please. Thank you. Sharon, this is Mrs. Ibbotson. Hello. Would you look after her, please? Yeah. And we'd like to do first tests. Nurse will look after you. Don't forget your man on there, Mrs. Ibbotson. You'll find the clothes on the room. I'd like to just remove your skirt and underwear. I think it's on the new couch in the middle. Okay. 